I try not to do political jokes, but I do make fun of Joe Biden. Okay, I do that. I do that. You got. Yeah, you got to do that. You got to do that. <laughs> fun of Joe Biden, and I don't make fun of his politics. I make fun of him how he falls up and down the stairs, so that's not political, that's gravitational, okay? I looked into it. No political jokes, I promise. Now, the first time I saw Joe Biden fall up the stairs, he was going, the first time, like there's been many times since, but the first time, he was going up to Air Force One, and he fell up the stairs. Do you guys remember this? I was going on stage in Texas that night. I was like, this will be perfect for Texas. I got on stage and everybody see Joe Biden fell up the stairs. They're like, yee-haw, we saw that, yeah. Shooting guns, pow, pow, pow. <laughs> everybody loved it, right? But what I tell you, not everybody thinks the same way. There was one guy in the front row, big old cowboy hat, in front of everybody, he goes, Joe Biden didn't fall up the stairs. I go, yes, he did, sir. I saw the video. He goes, no, he didn't. Then he said the most Texas thing ever. He was pushed by Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, that is so Texas. And then some other guy's like, Jesus wouldn't have pushed him in that direction. I'm like, stop it. Stop. <laughs> what is wrong with this crowd? The crowd's not supposed to be funnier than me. Shut up. I was losing control. They got bigger laughs than I did that night. Then I went back and watched the video. It looks like he was pushed by Jesus. They made a believer out of me. Because if you watch the video, he fell three times. Where's my church going, people? Three times. Everything happens in threes. The first time he fell was the Father. Then the Son. Then the Holy Ghost. All the way down. I said, that's the Holy Trinity right there. But we can't make fun of one and not the other. Now, I do, do, I do some jokes about uh, Donald Trump. Now, we have to admit, Donald Trump's press conferences were exciting. Because we never knew what he was going to say. He never knew what he was going to say. Because there was no teleprompter. He would just talk to us. Joe Biden always has a teleprompter. He doesn't read it very well, but he's got a teleprompter. A hundred million billion. No, not a joke. Hey. Sometimes I'm like, this man is 81. We're being mean to him. What do you do with an 81-year-old that's lost? You sit him down, you read the teleprompter to him. That's what we're supposed to do. Say, Joe, you sit down. And he'd be more surprised than anybody to hear what's on that chat. <laughs> Joe, tomorrow we're sending 130 billion to Ukraine. We are? Yes, yes. Just, if you let us finish, you get an ice cream. I like ice cream. What? Sit down, sit down. No. You don't get an ice cream till we finish. Sit down, sit. Now, Donald Trump is just about the same age, but he would just, as soon as he heard something, he would tell the people immediately, even if it was classified. No permission. Do you guys remember when there was a spy balloon that came from China? And we didn't find out about it till it hit Montana. They shot it down in North Carolina. The spy balloon, some of you forgot that. Yeah, if Trump was present during that, we would have known as soon as it left Beijing. Because he hates China. <laughs> He'd be like, what's happening? What are they doing? What's going on? Are you serious? I'm telling the people, the people need to know. Well, I'm telling, I don't care. I've just been told, let's do a press conference, folks. Let's do a press conference. Gather the people. I've just been told there's a great big balloon coming from China. Can you believe this? A great big balloon. What? Are we allowed to know this? And he'd always speak at a third grade level so everybody could understand at the same time. I like that. I like that. Even people who just illegally moved here, like, there's a balloon coming from China. <laughs> President, they say it's a balloon. It's coming. It's like, That's cool. We all got to be on the same page if we're going to be united. And it was great. There's a great big balloon coming from China. This is not a birthday balloon. I already asked. I said, is this a little birthday balloon? They said, no. They said, this is not a birthday balloon. It's a Chinese spy balloon, folks. Three school buses wide. Can you believe this? Three school buses. We've all been on a school bus. Yellow, one of the best buses around. We love those, the children. We all have great children taking those buses every day. China sending a Chinese spy balloon, and we have very weak leaders. They're not popping the balloon. I would have popped it so fast. You really gotta pop these things. Really? Yes. I'd go up there and pop it myself if they let me, folks. 
And then he would always throw something we never thought of. If you don't pop the Chinese spy balloon next Mexico, we'll send a spy piñata like you've never seen before, believe me. That's what they do, spy piñatas. <laughs> and when you break open a Mexican spy piñata, candy does not come out. More Mexicans do, I've seen it a million times before. 